all right so in this video we'll take a look at how to flash express lrs on the fr sky r9 m transmitter module and the r9 mx receiver and i'll be using the st link usb adapter to flash the firmware mainly because i don't have a compatible opentx firmware through which i can update the firmware and once you flash express lrs you can use it with the FlySky i6x radio transmitter uh, if you have OpenTX firmware on this so that way we can use a express LRS transmitter module and a receiver with this radio transmitter so flashing express LRS on the transmitter module is fairly easy but if you want to flash express LRS on the receiver then it's a bit tricky so so first let's take a look at the transmitter module and for that we'll have to remove the top cover and remove the antenna as well now one thing that you'll notice is oh, I've fried the voltage regulator on the back sides and that's because I had connected a fully charged 3S LiPo so if you have a R9M don't use a 3S LiPo because this is what you will end up with thankfully the module is still working because it has another voltage regulator over here so I can still power the module uh, using the connection over here so I'm using a 2S at the moment to power up the transmitter module and it's working fine so you can see that i've already soldered two wires on the circuit board so the first one is labeled as c which is the clock then we have voltage ground and d for data so you have to be very careful while soldering these pads so i've only soldered the wire on the clock and the data pad and to power up the chip i'll connect the 5 volt on the pin over here but if you want you can power up by soldering the wires over here as well so i already have express lrs on this module now if you have a brand new r9m with the fr sky firmware on it and when you try to flash express lrs using this method as soon as you connect it to the stm software on the computer the bootloader file will be deleted once we unlock the chip so don't freak out once we flash express lrs the module will work just fine in fact better than what you would expect uh, from the fr sky firmware so just keep that in mind as well and now i'll connect the jumper wires to the stm usb adapter and make sure to connect the antenna before you actually power on the module so and if you want you can keep these two wires soldered on the circuit so if you want to update a few settings or update the firmware you can always uh, just connect the wires to the stm device and make all the changes so you don't have to solder the wires again so the yellow wire is the clock wire so i'll connect that to swclk on the stm usb adapter then the red wire is the data so this will go on the swdio and from this diagram you can see that we have ground and 5 volt connection over here so I can use that to power up the module using the STM device so ground and 5 volts and you can connect the 5 volt connection to the 3 volt on the ST link device uh, that's just fine So in this case I'm using the 3 volt connection but you can also use the 5 volt. Just make sure to match the connection in the right order. And now I'll connect the STM device to the computer and I'm using an extension cable so that it's a bit convenient to connect it to the computer. So you can see that the STM device is powered up and we have power going to the module as well. So now I'll launch the STM utility software 
and I'll click on target and select connect or you can even click on this icon which says connect to target and as soon as the connection is successful you will see that the LED on the ST link device are blinking red and blue and the LED on the module will be turned off now if this is a brand new module then you will have to unlock it first and to do that click on target and select option bytes and here you can see that I've disabled readout protection this will be enabled by default so for example if I enable it again we get an error which says cannot read memory and disable readout protection and retry So if you have a brand new module then first disable the readout protection so go to option bytes and click on disable and as soon as you do this you will delete the fr sky bootloader file that's on the module and you won't be able to install the original fr sky firmware and like i said before this stm method is not reversible so if you have no other option to flash express lrs then this is the only method and Unfortunately, we cannot reverse back, but honestly, I don't think you'll ever need to flash the original firmware back. So that's not a problem. So once we disable the readout protection, we can disconnect and then quit ST-Link utility software. And now if I disconnect the USB adapter and connect it back, you'll see that the module does not power on and that's because it has no firmware in it so once i flash express lrs on this again uh, it will start working all right so i've got the latest version of express lrs configurator so first i'll select which version of express lrs i want to install on the module so i'll select 1.2 because that's the latest one and in the device category i'll select r9m so fr sky r9 and device as fr sky tx r9 m and then here you can see we have three options to choose through which we can update the firmware on the module so first is st link then the next is stock bootloader so if you have a radio like the Tyrannus QX7 or Radio Master TX16 then those radios have the SD card functionality and you can install the bootloader file on your SD card and then update the module or the receiver through the radio transmitter but since I don't have that and we don't have that option on the FlySky FSI6X radio transmitter we have no other option but to use ST-Link method so make sure to select ST link and here we can select all the settings that we want the firmware to have so depending on which region you are from you will have to select the right uh, option over here so I'll select the 915 megahertz option then we have to set the binding phrase and this is basically like a password that has to match on the receiver and the transmitter module so that way the module and the receiver can bind uh, together and then we have the option to unlock high power so i had enabled this in the previous version so i'll disable this for now because i don't have the fan mod then we have no sync on arm so if you want you can read this and decide if you want to enable this with express lrs usually the first aux channel which is the channel 5 is the arming switch or is supposed to be set as the arming switch otherwise oh, there could be a few issues so if you want you can read through this and decide if you want to enable this or not now this is something new i believe because this wasn't there in the previous version of express lrs configurator so feature open tx sync so i'll just leave that on and this basically reduces the latency by 
so reading the mixo settings then we have hybrid switches i've set this to enable and the next is telemetry if you want telemetry then you can check mark this option as well so any sensors or data from the flight controller can be sent through the receiver on your radio transmitter and the flysky i6x radio transmitter does support telemetry as well so if you want you can enable this and then if i want i can enable this option as well so that way we can stop the telemetry lost warning when we change the settings of the telemetry ratio or the packet rate so if you want you can either enable or disable this and then we have the option to select the starter beep so you can select just beep once or disable or just select your own melody i'll just set this to just beep once so depending on what options you want and which region you are from select the appropriate options and in this case i'll use build and flash the build option will use with the r9 mx receiver and before i do that i'll connect the stm device again and now i'll click on build and flash if this is for the first time then this process will take some time so as you can see that the firmware has been updated on the module successfully so this is how you flash express lrs on the fr sky r9m module using the st link usb device and similarly if you want to make any changes in the settings you can always connect the stm device and then select uh, the settings that you want or adjust them and and then flash the firmware again Next, we'll take a look at how to flash Express LRS on the R9MX receiver. So let's move on to that.